Have you ever wondered whether to use a search engine or an AI tool? In this video, we're going to put them head to head. I'm going to get them to perform five tasks and see which one wins. Let's get into it. So in this first test in the battle between Google Search and ChatGPT, let's see how good each tool is with solving a problem. So we're going to use ChatGPT4 in this test, and I'm going to give it the problem of my laptop webcam being broken. So let's put that into Google and see what happens. And we get a pretty much uh, instant answer. Got six uh, potential answers uh, here, all very sort of short sentences. So not that uh, not that detailed, uh, and it's picking up that information from integrated research. Now, for the purposes of these tests, I'm just going to take into account what is displayed on the first page. So I'm not going to go off to any uh, websites or anything like this. But you can see that uh, we have got the information from this website here, integrated uh, research, and we've got some additional information here, similar questions that people have asked. Looks like we've got further answers from another website here. Got some uh, videos as well, but these all a bit dated 2020, 2022, which for tech is perhaps not so uh, not so good. Got something for Microsoft here. Uh, got some other websites with particular um, solutions. Uh, so all in all, not too bad. Uh, it has sort of given us some answers there, but to me it looks like we would have to go off to other websites to get the full answer. Uh, so let's see how uh, ChatGPT4 gets on. So I'm going to ask it exactly the same question. So it's going to take a, a little longer, but it's identified the problem that I've given it and it's providing several steps to diagnose and potentially fix the problem. So uh, it's coming up with a number of suggestions that look actually very uh, similar to the suggestions that uh, Google came up with, but these do seem a little bit more detailed, which is uh, which is interesting. Well, they are definitely more uh, more detailed, and they are specific. Look, we've got some specific uh, instructions here regarding the uh, device manager, uh, for uh, example. And uh, well, the answer is still uh, continuing. Uh, and it says uh, if these steps aren't uh, very good, it's giving us some additional advice there. So I think I will uh, give the win to ChatGPT on this occasion. So it's Google nil, ChatGPT one. So for test number two in Google versus ChatGPT, I'm going to look at a fairly detailed answer and consider the speed of response. So which tool responds faster? And I'll also be considering the accuracy and quality of the response as well. So we're going to ask about uh, blockchain technology. So let's give that a go over on Google and we can see that the response is pretty instant really uh, and Google says itself that it was 0.32 seconds seemed even faster than that actually as soon as I hit the uh, return key and it's got the answer here in a single sentence blockchain technology is an advanced database mechanism that allows transparent information sharing within a business network a blockchain database stores data in blocks that are linked together in a chain and if I want more information I can click on off to Amazon Web Services to, to find that. We've also got related questions here and other websites that looks look like they answers the same question. Also got some videos, again a little bit dated, 2023 with one as long ago as 2009 there. Got the Wikipedia entry for blockchain and um, so on here. So pretty good. I mean, it's, it's done the job there. It's answered the, uh, the question, although perhaps the response isn't quite as detailed as it might be. So let's see what uh, ChatGPT4 can do. So to keep that in. So clearly this is taking a lot longer as the response is appearing here, but it is drawing down a fairly uh, detailed answer and it's talking about different times of uh, different types of blockchain, distributed ledger technology, and so on. 
And it's conversational as well because the final sentence says, would you like more detailed information on how blockchain is used in specific industries or are you interested in its technical working? So pretty helpful and perhaps a more sort of human-like conversational response. But we are looking at speed of response here and definitely got to give the win to Google here. So that now makes it one all. So we are Google one. Chat GPT one. So in this test in Google versus Chat GPT, we're going to be looking at how good each tool is in finding a website. So typical behavior on a search engine such as Google is to type in the name of the company, website comes up, you click that link, and then you're on the website. So let's give this a go in Google and see what happens. So I'm going to look for the Admiral Insurance website and come up almost instantly there. I've got the website, can click on the link, and off we go. So uh, job done. So let's see what happens when we do the same in ChatGPT, and I'm using ChatGPT4 for this exercise. So off it goes, and it's still working. And there we go, it's come back with the answer and a little bit of more information about what I can find on the site, but that was a lot slower, several uh, seconds longer there than the uh, 0.33 seconds that uh, it took Google to find the website. So I think we'll give the uh, win to Google there. So Google are edging it and it's currently 2-1 to Google. So for this fourth test, we're going to look at how Google and ChatGPT can extract text from an image and also how they can translate that text. So I've uploaded an inside page from Wikinomics to both Google and ChatGPT, ChatGPT4 in this case. And you'll see that on the left here we have uh, Google and there is an option for text. We're currently on the option for search and you can see that if I scroll down here, uh, it's identified um, another uh, Wikinomics book um, there and some also similar images with other uh, other books there. But what we're actually interested in is the, uh, is the text. So let's just click that option there and we see that it says uh, click and drag to select any text or select all text. So what we'll do is select all the text and then hopefully it will then extract it for us. And it's kind of like done that pretty much instantly. So we've got Wikinomics, how mass collaboration changes everything, expanded edition, the authors, the publisher and London. And you can also see that it's kept the appropriate case there as well. And got some other options here too. So copy text, listen, translate, uh, which we'll come on to in a sec, and uh, and search for uh, the uh, the text as well. I've also got a translate button uh, button here. So let's uh, actually go for that. Uh, so yeah, first part of the task. I say um, pretty high uh, high score there. Very uh, very impressive. So if we go to translate now. So at the top we've got of, um, different languages uh, here. So uh, let us go for Bulgarian. So let's see what happens if we translate to. Bulgarian and there we go we've got the uh, Bulgarian translation there so let us now go over to ChatGPT4 so slight difference in the workings of ChatGPT so here we actually have to give specific instructions so let's uh, do it in two parts a bit like we did with um, Google so I'm just gonna say please extract the text and just going to hit return there and uh, see what uh, happens. So, uh, so it's got the image on the screen and it's agreed that it's gonna do it. And yes, very similar uh, to Google. In fact, I would give it a sort of um, bit of an extra point there because I actually laid it out in, this, in the same sort of spacing type. It's put some spacing in there, uh, which um, Google didn't uh, didn't do. Google just put it in a, in a couple of lines. So now for the uh, next step. So let's see uh, how we go. So please translate to Bulgarian and click the uh, arrow key there. 
and we will see what happens and yes uh, it uh, does it into Bulgarian quite uh, quite nicely uh, it does look like the um, there's a few differences I know I'm not fluent in uh, Bulgarian but uh, looks broadly similar to the uh, Google version so uh, we'll just assume that both have done the uh, done the job there so I think that's pretty much a score draw actually um, so slightly different methodology but uh, in terms of of time probably Google wins but then ChatGPT put in the extra spacing so I would say after four tests we are now on Google 2 ChatGPT 2 so this is the final round of the Google versus ChatGPT battle and currently all things are square with Google on two and ChatGPT on two. So it's neck and neck as we go into the final round, who is going to win by taking this final round. So in round number five, we are going to look at each tool performing a calculation. So let's see how they get on. So we're going to put it in a business calculation here, very simple one in in terms of making a profit so if I sold 10 units at three pounds which cost me two pounds each what is my profit so let's see how Google gets on with that one so answers very quickly just like normal but no answer here just a link to a profit calculator website got similar questions here and again just a whole bunch of links to a profit calculator calculator website so no real answer there no full or correct answer from google let's see how chat gpt4 gets on with the same question so put in the question there hit the arrow key and we are having the calculation here and what chat gpt is doing is actually explaining the calculation as we're going on and the different steps involved so we're on to step number three so let's see if it does actually come up with the answer at the end so in the third point it does and it neatly summarizes by saying so your profit from selling 10 units at three pounds each when they cost you two pounds each is 10 pounds so Definitely ChatGPT has to win that one. So the final score is Google 2, ChatGPT 3, and a win for ChatGPT. Now that you've watched the video, you should be in a position to see the strengths and weaknesses of search engines versus AI tools. It's an interesting subject, so do like and subscribe the NILC channel and come back for more videos in future. See you next time.